Hey, John Ferguson Smart. I thought I would record a real quick video on a topic that a few people have been asking about. How to use tags in Cucumber with Serenity BDD. Now, what I've got here is a little project. It's a to-do MVC project. And if I run these tests real quick, run a Maven Clean Verify, I'm going to focus just on the Cucumber test for this tutorial. And when we run that, we'll get a full test suite. And when we look at the results, we can see this full test suite of Cucumber tests, which correspond to the feature files and scenarios that we have in this test suite. So that is fairly normal behavior. But what if we want to run a subset of our tests? Well, we can do that very easily with tags. Now, in this test suite, we have different tags on the feature files. So here we have a filtering tag, a smoke test tag. A few of the others have completing tag, also another smoke test tag on a scenario. So you can see we have a smoke test here and deleting. We have different tags for different we have different tags for different purposes. So how do we actually run them? Well, it turns out it's really easy. Imagine we just want to run the filtering tests. What we do is we run Maven, let's run Maven Clean Verify. You won't need to worry about the profile, but what you will need to worry about is the minus D tags option. That's where all the magic happens. So we can simply say tags equals filtering. And if we refresh the results, what we discover is that we now only have the scenarios related to filtering. So filtering to do's, filtering other to do's. We have two scenarios related, two feature files related to filtering. But with tags, we can do a lot more. For example, what would happen if we wanted to run only the filtering smoke test? Well, we could do that by modifying our tag expression to say filtering and smoke test. So that will run the filtering to do's, but the filtering other to do's does not have a smoke test tag. So we're expecting to only see these, these three scenarios here. So when we refresh the results, we're going to just see the filtering to do's, which are the ones from our smoke from our smoke test. And we can also do other combinations. For example, what happens if we want to run all of the smoke tests and all of the filtering ones? Now, this is a little bit counterintuitive because we don't say and, we say or. We say all of the scenarios with smoke tests or with filtering. And so that will run all of the filtering ones, so the other to-dos and to-dos, but also these smoke test scenarios that we have in our other, other, other scenarios. And so now in our reports, we're going to get our completed to-do list, one scenario, one scenario from deleted, and then all of our, uh, all of our filtering ones. So that's how we can run tags in Cucumber with Serenity BDD from the command line. We can also do this from the runner class. So in the runner class, in JUnit, the JUnit 5 runner, we have this configuration parameter option. And we can use that to define a whole lot of properties. And the one we'll be interested in here is one that's called filter tags property name. And it will pick it up automatically. It is actually just cucumber.filter.tags. And we can give that a value and put whatever value we want. Now, there's a little bit of an idiosyncrasy here. We need to put the at symbol. So at smoke test. Let's run all of the smoke tests. So now if I run this, it will run only 
the smoke test and we can see it's kicking them off notice it's running them in, in parallel because it's configured that way and we have all of our smoke test scenarios so we can put any scenarios we want here smoke test and filtering if we wanted to for example let's run that again and we see we're only running the filtering one so that's a real quick tour of how we can run Cucumber with Serenity BDD and using the filtering option so that we can filter out the tests that we don't want and focus on the tests that we do want and not only, only run them so our test execution is quicker, but also get more focused reporting so we only report on the scenarios we're really interested in.